Hey guys, welcome to Harriet Velasco and this is my analysis of the poster. It is recently released, the recent official Spider-Man No Way Home poster to, that will be released alongside the film Spider-Man No Way Home this December. And in the case of my country, January 8, 2022, because we have a stupid film festival to get through before we see Spider-Man. So before we start with the video, uh, do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. Uh, your efforts are going to be much appreciated in order for the channel to grow. This will be in part of contributing to the algorithm. If you like, so if you have any comments, suggestions, feel free to give. And yes, I am Filipino. And also, I would like to thank everyone who has watched my arcane video. It's one of my most watched videos in YouTube for the long run of me being a creator for like two years so i think the arcane review if you haven't checked that out it's on my channel it blew up i never reached that type of view count before on that length so liking watching contributing to viewers is very much well appreciated and also to note to the fact that i am trying to reach 4000 watch hours on youtube to get monetization and if I get monetization I may just quit my job because my because I'm get I'm being forced to hard carry all the tasks on my job and you know I just want to relax now. So yeah. This is the Spider Man No Way Home poster that was released by in Facebook in Twitter, in all aspects of social media. And let us discuss the content. Of course, we have this Iron Spider costume. This spider suit has been on all three movies. What the F, Sony? This Tony is already dead and Sony is still milking it out. I can't wait for Dr. Octopus to destroy this suit. Or if the rumors are true, Peter will just turn the suit upside down for some reason I don't know so obviously the tentacles are coming from Spider-Man 2's Dr. Octopus it is revealed on the previous trailer and if you've seen the previous trailer there are LED lights on the tentacles in that is signaling the red light red light meaning the tentacles are in control unlike the white light in the Spider-Man 2 where it's where the tentacles has lost their control over Doc, over Octavius, like that. And if the rumors are true, these tentacles are going to extract, destroy the Iron Spider suit, extract the nanotechnology, which is apparently existing in the Spider-Man Two universe. So why does? So why does Doctor Octopus need the Iron Spider suit? to do nanotechnology but yeah if in the case he wants to rebuild the tentacles he's gonna have a hard time so we're just gonna have to absorb it for some reason so this will enable the uh, the tentacles to have nanotech and uh, meaning Octavius can just hide the tentacles out of plain sight unlike his default look where the tentacles are in plain sight so this is foreshadowing the battle. Now, let's go towards the background. As you can see, there's a spectacle of sand here. There's a spectacle of sand. Let me, let me zoom. Let me just hover my mouse. Okay, hover my mouse here. This indicates the Sandman. Now, the Sandman is a villain, or like an anti-hero in Spider-Man Three. I think he m he made amends with Peter. So with Tobey Maguire at the end of Spider-Man Three. So I don't know why would he be a villain in this episode, in this movie. But maybe it will be taken. This Spider-Man, this Sandman, will be taken from a point in Spider-Man Three where he has not yet been forgiven by Tobey Maguire. Maybe it's the time when Black Suit Spider-Man committed. Literally murder and make 
Sandman into mud. If you remember that scene, it was on the train where he rams Sandman's head on the train and then pours some water, li- implying that Tobey Maguire killed him. So that. Another thing to note here, the thunder, I mean the lightning color, is now green. This is supposedly to be Electro. So Electro here is rumored to be played by Jamie Foxx, who is the birthday boy of Amazing Spider-Man 2. If you remember, it was Jamie Foxx, it was Maxwell Dillon's birthday when he became Electro. He was shaped like an electric eel. That's how the that's why his face looks like that. And he is color blue. Now the rumors say that Electro in No Way Home isn't going to be blue. Or rather, he may be blue, but he has a spippy outfit that is going to be matching his comic colors. You know, the one with the starfish mask on? Yeah. So, yeah, that's Electro going to be... That's like confirming Electro going to be in No Way Home. Now, for the big reveal here, we got a guy... Let's zoom in. How do we zoom in in Opera GX? Let me just zoom in. Okay. Let me zoom in here. And let me just adjust here. And I'm going to go to OBS. And I'm going to do this. Okay. So this guy is William Dafoe. William Defoe is going to be in No Way Home. It was hinted by the laugh at the first trailer. When, so yeah. It may I had some doubts on the first trailer which Green Goblin it could be. Because there are two Green Goblins in the Sony Spider Man multiverse of films. One is William Defoe, one is Dane DeHaan. And yeah, there is a slide that it may be a bait and switch. It's going to be Dane DeHaan. But I think here because it clearly shows it's a helmet and not a brush up here. That could be saying it's Dane DeHaan. I mean, it's William Dafoe. And the glider is much more similar to William Dafoe. Also, the pumpkin bombs were similar to William Dafoe. Did Dane got some pumpkin bombs in Spider-Man? Amazing Spider-Man 2? Uh, yeah, I never know. I never know if he has pumpkin bumps, but the lap is William Dafoe. So, what do we expect for Spider Man? This will be a multiversal battle. I believe Lizard is part of the Sinister Five. That is being promoted. It is being said it's Sinister 5. There's not a 6 member confirmed yet. Unless Venom is going to join this movie. But I doubt that. But in the, if you remember the post credit scene of Venom. He got like teleported to the MCU. So yeah. Pretty much. I'm not saying Venom's going to be in it. It might be a hint that Venom's going to be in the movie maybe or this is just all a big illusion work by the guy in mocap suit Rey Mysterio maybe we haven't seen any confirmation of Toby and Andrew being in the film so the more longer that Sony is producing these trailers and these posters Without any hint of Toby and Andrew, the less I believe Tony and Toby and Andrew are going to be in it. You see, they revealed William the is in the poster, so why not reveal Toby and Andrew for the same? Right? So yeah, the further it they it stretch out, the least likely we're going to see the two. And also I think there is a video explaining that the leak is a deep fake. So if you haven't seen that, I believe he's 
channel is let's see Alex Serato yeah I think Alex Serato made the yeah it, it, there's a video where Alex Serato explained that he made the Andrew Garfield deep fake so yeah maybe yeah I think we're all just overblowing proportions Toby and Andrew isn't going to be in the film because if they are they should have marketed it like how William Dafoe is in this poster so this is my breakdown of the Spider-Man poster. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye and good night. Bang!